Now, if you're working with PHP MyAdmin and MySQL databases for a long period of time, there's probably going to come a time where you're going to need to create or manage any user accounts on your server itself. So you can actually do this super, super easily right from PHP MyAdmin. So once you've got PHP MyAdmin loaded up your server, click on the User Accounts tab. Now from here, you'll see a list of every single user that you currently have on your MySQL server. In this case, I just have the default root and PMA users that are created when you install a local web server such as XAMPP, which is actually what I use for all of my local web servers. To create a new user, under the New section, you just hit the Add User Account button. From here, you can enter in all the login information and whatnot that you need to create a new user account. So I'm going to create a new account named Nick, and it's going to be on host name of percentage, which basically means it can go on any single host. And then I'm going to set a password of password because that is super, super secure. Notice that it says extremely weak. Go ahead and retype your password. And then if you're using any particular authentication plugins from within PHP MyAdmin, you can select those from this drop down next. Uh, if not, you probably just have the default one, which is totally fine. Now from here, PHP MyAdmin actually gives you the option to create a database that has the exact same name as the user account. So you can check the checkbox right here uh, if you do want that. And when you do that, it'll automatically give permission to your new database to the user that you created. So it kind of streamlines the process just a little bit. Now anytime you're working with a PHP MyAdmin or rather a MySQL user account, there's a minimum number of permissions that you want to be sure your account has. Because realistically, if you're creating a user account, that user account is going to be connecting your database using your PHP code or whatever programming language you want. Uh, I prefer PHP. Uh, but it's going to be using your code to connect and run all of the SQL commands and queries. So if you don't have the proper permissions for that account, then you're just not going to be able to get any of the information from your database that you want for your website. So at a minimum, you want to make sure you have the select, insert, update, and delete. Now the reason for this, and I'll get into it in a future video when we actually talk about how to use your PHP code to create and send MySQL queries to your database, but the reason you want these at a minimum is because you'll use the select command in MySQL, and each of these are MySQL commands. You'll use select in order to retrieve data from the database. You'll use insert in order to insert data into the database. You'll use update in order to update any specific row or column in the database itself. And you'll use the delete command in order to remove data from your database. So if you want to delete a row, delete a user account, things like that. Now, if you are using your MySQL accounts for more complex applications, such as programmatically creating and deleting databases in some sort of installation wizard, anything like that, then you may want to have some of these structural permissions for each of your accounts. Now, my account being on a local web server that's not connected to the outside world, I'm just going to click the check all button, so it's going to give every single permission to my database itself, or rather for the database user. Now, whenever you're satisfied with all the permissions that you've selected, you can just hit the go button, and that'll create the new account. So once you've created your new account, you'll see the MySQL query generated from PHP MyAdmin right at the top. If you click back on the User Accounts tab, it'll reload and you'll notice your new account has been created. In order to change a MySQL user account password, you want to select your User Accounts tab. You'll see the list of all your user accounts. You want to find the account that you want to update the password for, in this case my NIC account. Click on the Edit Privileges button on the right hand side, and at the top, click on the Change Password button. Now from here, you'll be able to enter in your new password and then confirm your password. And then whenever you're satisfied with your new password, you can click the Go button. Alternatively, if you do want to disable the account password or the need for an account password, you can click the No Password button and then click the Go button. At whatever point, if you're looking to delete a user account from your MySQL database, to do so with PHP MyAdmin, again, you're going to be on the User Accounts page. You want to click the checkbox that's right next to whichever user account you're trying to delete. In this case, I would delete my NIC account. And then you want to look down a little bit further. You'll see the Remove Selected User Accounts, and then you can just simply click the Go button. Now, alternatively, if you have databases that were created for this user account, such as when you manually created the user account themselves, 
gives you the option to create a new database with the same name as the user. You can delete that database right from here instead of having to go to your databases and delete it that way. So whenever you're ready to delete it, just click the go button. You'll get a confirmation saying that the user is going to be deleted. Click OK. And then once the query has been successfully run, your database, or rather your MySQL user account, will have been deleted.